Hi friends, OpenAI has released a new agentic framework with some very desirable features such as input and output guardrails for agents and some inbuilt tools. Today we will look at three most useful tools such as web search, file slash vector search for rack type, type of applications and also the computer use. Okay, let's start with the easiest one. So from agents, we import the agent and the runner for running the agents and then web search tool is the tool we are going to use and for trace it is for logging the agent actions as well as uh, the orchestration uh, output uh, etc to the api console all right now here is the agent uh, sort of a definition uh, the agent takes a name obviously the instructions and then it can hand off some tasks for example when we give a large task the agent it can break down the tasks and give or hand off certain tasks to uh, other agents so we can uh, give the hand off description uh, and then the llm model the model settings like the temperature top p top k etc and the most important one obviously the tools and as i mentioned the input and output guardrails for agents is the most desirable feature because so far uh, with all the other frameworks the guardrails has been left to other third party frameworks right for example we use crew ai uh, and then we might use uh, other frameworks like gizgard to monitor the input to as well as the output from the agents but uh, in this new framework the open ai they are inbuilting the guardrails uh, uh, to the agents uh, which is a very uh, nice thing all right so let's create a very simple agent. So here we are creating, uh, we give it a name, uh, instruction very simple, you are a helpful agent. And then we define some tools. Uh, so it's a web search tool and uh, uh, we simply give uh, some uh, uh, location parameters based on what type of question uh, we are going to ask, right? So we are going to ask a question uh, which is uh, relevant to a particular location. So that's why here we say it's the type approximate and the city Melbourne. Now we leave uh, the rest of the parameters uh, to defaults, for example, the model, model settings, etc. We will see that uh, in a second. All right. And then since we want to log uh, the agent actions, uh, the orchestration, etc. Uh, to the API console, uh, we wrap uh, the runner around uh, this trace okay so when we use this with trace all the actions of the agents uh, get logged into the console which we will see in a second all right and then we simply use the runner to run the agent and here we are providing a specific task so the task is very simple search web for local sport news and give me one interesting update in a sentence okay and since we set uh, this location to melbourne so this sports news must be relevant to melbourne all right and we run the agent and finally uh, we print the output uh, we just invoke the main function now earlier uh, we had to do uh, we had to custom build these web search tools uh, using some third party apis like DuckDuckGo search uh, firecrawl tavili etc right now it's good that uh, even the tools are becoming uh, inbuilt and easier uh, to use okay so let's run this agent so here I ran uh, the Python uh, web search uh, 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 script. Now it ran and then uh, it does the web search news, sports news relevant to Melbourne and it found a news article and it finally gave this one interesting uh, sentence. Now let's see uh, what happened under the hood. So this is the API uh, uh, console. Uh, here you can see traces so under these traces all our agent actions uh, get logged so we just ran this web search agent okay all right let's click on it all right so it's a post request uh, here we can see the time it took uh, some uh, three seconds yeah some three seconds uh, is that right yeah and then uh, so the model used it's a gpt 4 uh, the number of tokens and uh, some system instructions so this is the task and it did the web search and it found an article from routers uh, let's click on it so this uh, so melbourne uh, they have this grand picks uh, which is the formula uh, one race 
and this pies tree he's a local boy uh, so the news article says all eyes on this uh, pies tree as a local hero eyes australian breakthrough so that's the news article so it scraped that uh, article and then it came up uh, with this we asked for uh, one sentence right remember here we asked for give me one interesting update uh, in a sentence so going back so it came up with this a sentence so oscar first team for historic win at australian uh, grand prix all right now since it is just one agent uh, it looks simple but imagine when we have multiple agents and there are these uh, handoffs and maybe uh, the guardrails uh, etc included and the agents uh, they take or do not take certain actions based on the guardrails we set etc so we can monitor uh, all that in the uh, logs uh, all right now the second agent uh, the second tool uh, we are going to use uh, what they call this file search but it is essentially uh, a vector search uh, uh, for rag all right so same as before uh, this time we are using this file search tool now build the agent and this time for the tools we are using this file search tool here you will see this vector store uh, ids so this means we should have built some vector stores uh, already so let's go back to console and see uh, what we can do here so if you look at the storage now there are two types of uh, storages the files uh, these json l files uh, etc these are the ones uh, which i used in the past to fine tune uh, the llm models okay the vision models llm models etc but now that uh, they have included this new one called vector stores so let's go to vector stores uh, here is one vector uh, store uh, which i have already built so each vector store has its uh, has a an id so this is what uh, we saw uh, here in the code so this is the ve uh, vector uh, store id all right so i'll quickly show you how to build a new one uh, it's super simple so create all right so untitled vector store let's give it something and then uh, here we have the id and let's add some files so here we can upload some a bunch of files let me upload uh, uh, a file and then here you will see uh, the chunk size as well as the chunk overlap so it's essentially what we used to do with lang chain llama index type of frameworks where we take all our documents and we chunk them uh, with mostly these two parameters like chunk size chunk overlap and then we put them into the we create embeddings we put them into the vector store and then we retrieve based on uh, the user query uh, so all this is happening uh, under the hood so this is how we build the vector stores once we build the vector stores uh, we simply have this vector store id now what i did is so i took uh, this car insurance policy document uh, so imagine uh, we are working for a insurance company and we want to build a pro chatbot a type of product for the customers so that they can ask all their queries uh, or doubts uh, regarding the insurance policy what it cover what it doesn't cover etc etc okay so i took this document and I created uh, uh, a vector store out of it. All right. So we have the vector store. Now let's go back to the code. So here we are building this file search tool by giving uh, the vector store ID. All right. And we want to retrieve the two most uh, semantically similar documents. Okay. So this is essentially like uh, how we build this retrieval tool uh, in a Llama index framework. All right. And then again, we trace. So we run the agent and here we are asking a simple question like, hey, can I choose my own repairer? So in case of uh, an accident, uh, can I choose my own repairer or does it have to be only the insurance uh, provider uh, repairer? Okay, uh, be very concise. And again, we simply print the output and we also print uh, uh, the full result, which include uh, a lot of additional information, which we will see now. All right, so the second one, so here I ran the uh, the file search uh, script which is essentially running uh, that file search uh, agent so the answer is yes you can choose your own repairer uh, uh, and i'll just show you where it got the answer from quickly uh, so choice of repairer as you can see we will help you find one or you can choose uh, your own on 19th page uh, they have more details but this insurance policy it allows uh, the users to choose their own uh, uh, repairer now since we have added uh, this statement which is essential which is printing everything contained within this result so this will have all the re agent related information the retrieved documents and lot of metadata as well so here you can see uh, uh, 
the agent name, uh, the instructions given to the agent, and also did we set any guardrails, uh, uh, the file store, etc. So everything we have defined as well as uh, the defaults uh, we left to. And then it did, uh, so here is the query, and it did the, the vector search and came up with some two documents. So this is uh, the policy. So it has extracted uh, the documents. And again, finally, you will see uh, the output after the agent has uh, done its job. Uh, so the status completed, again, uh, if, if we, the guardrails, I mean, since we did not set any input and output guardrails, those are empty. But uh, had we set, probably it would have uh, said uh, if the guardrails uh, success fail, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that's the second agent. So as you can see, building racks also becoming easier and easier. So we can just upload all our uh, knowledge base uh, uh, to the vector store and it does all the chunking, etc. under the hood. Now to the agent, all we need to do is simply supply uh, this file search tool uh, with the vector store ID, okay? So the even uh, building the agents, uh, sorry, building the rag uh, agents is becoming easier by the day. And the final, the most interesting one uh, is the computer use, okay? All right, it's much more involved. So we don't go into the code in detail because this is the first time I'm using computer use and I'm also uh, trying to understand all the nitty gritty details. But uh, under the hood, uh, it uses this Playwright. The Playwright, uh, it's a web automation testing type of uh, framework, okay? A similar concept. So here we are defining the agent. And for the tools, uh, we give this computer tool, uh, which is based off of, off of uh, uh, the Playwright. All right. And then, uh, so here we are saying, uh, what's the biggest news headline in Australia right now? Now, obviously, we can do the same task using the web search, but uh, web search tool, but this is uh, the computer use. So what it is going to do is, it is going to open the browser, search for this uh, query, find out the pages, go to those pages, do the clicking, double clicking, uh, exactly how uh, we uh, used to, uh, how we work. You must have seen some uh, demos, right? Uh, I'll show you those actions in a second. So here we have some mapping. Uh, here we have some mapping between uh, between the common, uh, 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 these actions, right? The actions we take uh, to the Playwright keys. But, uh, and then some Playwright uh, specific stuff, but the important one is here. So here we have all the actions uh, we humans do on a web page, right? For example, we, uh, what it is doing is, so it, it opened the browser, it search for the query, and then uh, it take the screenshot of those uh, pages and it parse because the LLM, these are vision models, uh, language plus vision models. So it parse all the text uh, within that screenshot to figure out where it need to click next, okay? So it, it can do the click, it can do the double click, it can scroll up and down, it can type if there is a search box, if you are, uh, let's say, asking for some product specific information, then it will go uh, to that search bar. For example, if you are searching, uh, if you give, ask it to find, let's say, okay, what is the price of this refrigerator uh, on Amazon? So it will open the browser, it will go to Amazon, and then within the search box, it can type, it will type uh, 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 the refrigerator uh, details, etc. right? So it can move uh, the key press, drag. So all the actions we perform uh, on a browser, uh, this agent uh, can also perform, all right? Uh, so unfortunately, after running this one, uh, I came to know that this model is not released to public yet. For example, here, so where is it? Yeah, so here I ran the script. Uh, in fact, it did open the browser. Uh, I might run it again to just to show you how it is opening the browser, etc. Uh, but when it parse the screenshot, it required this language vision model, right? This computer use preview, uh, this model, uh, which is not, uh, uh, OpenAI hasn't made uh, made it available to everyone yet, okay? So hopefully soon they release so that we can test this uh, end to end, but I'll run it again. So let's see what happens. It should be opening a browser. So it opened the browser, uh, the Bing, and then it closed because it could not pass uh, the screenshot uh, because the model isn't available yet, okay? So you will see, so this is the latest one. Uh, again, saying uh, the model uh, is not available. So if you go to console, uh, traces. Yeah, so the computer one, uh, this is the uh, the previous one I ran a couple of hours ago. And this one, uh, the one we just ran. Okay, I mean, if you look, it should say the... Here we have the 
uh, error message that uh, this model isn't available yet. All right. Um, quick summary. Uh, the building the agents tools is becoming easier by the day and now we even have uh, some excellent inbuilt tools uh, within all the frameworks uh, so openai the three powerful tools like web search this vector search and computer use uh, we can simply build the agents supply the tools and run the agents and with the trace we can monitor uh, uh, everything and also uh, we can include uh, the guardrails uh, as well so I'll do one more video uh, with these guardrails uh, because that subject is close to me. So I'm working I'm working on a couple of projects in the responsible AI uh, and governance risk and compliance space. So it would be interesting to see uh, what guardrails they put in place and how they change the behavior of those agents. Okay. Uh, if you like this content or if you find this content useful, uh, please consider like, share and subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.